Hi friends, my name is Jess Marcoya and this is New Flora, an online store and resource to help women build a calming wardrobe that they'll want to hold on to. In this video, we're going to be talking about the wardrobe edit and we'll be going over two things, how to purge your wardrobe and then how to find your style. Because I used to be super overwhelmed by my closet and I was just over that. I had so many clothes, it felt chaotic and I didn't feel like I had anything to wear. But after years of doing that, I took the time and finally did a wardrobe edit and it was, it was amazing. So getting dressed in the morning became a calming experience and it gave me direction in building my wardrobe. I want to share that with you and I can't wait to walk you through the process. So before we do that though, can you please help us out? We want to share this with as many women as possible and by you hitting that like button down below, it really helps us spread the word. That would really mean a lot. And let's do it. Are you ready? Let's go. Okay. So let's start by purging your wardrobe and looking at what you already have. You might have everything you already need in your closet, and I don't want you spending a bunch of money on a whole new wardrobe if you don't need to. So take everything out, I mean everything out of your closet, and lay it on your bed. So shoes, everything. This will give your closet a chance to breathe and let your clothes, all of them be seen and just give you that first fresh perspective that you're gonna need for this. So we're gonna sort your clothes into three separate piles, okay? So the stay, the seller donate, and then the undecided pile. And you're gonna to have to try it on all on, and I know this might feel uncomfortable and you're gonna to wanna to skip this step, but it's so important. You might love something on the hanger, but when you put it on, you just realize that it just doesn't feel right. So get out a mirror and try it all on. And as you're trying on each piece, you have to ask yourself the right questions, okay? So here they are. Do you love it? Do you feel confident in it? Do you remember the last time that you wore it? Does it fit properly? Does it have sentimental value? Do you have something similar that you prefer? Does it fit your style and lifestyle? I know that that was a lot and if you want a list, you can grab our free wardrobe edit guide in the link below and it comes with a questionnaire and we'll guide you through this process. So like if you forget all this, no worries, just snag that. Okay, so once you've tried it on, and sorted your clothing, you'll have those three piles, your love pile, your seller donate, and then your undecided. Bag up the undecided and put it away and out of sight for six months. And if you haven't touched it in that time, then just get rid of it. Somebody else might love it more than you. And that was the first part. Next, let's take a close look at everything you kept. They're gonna say a lot about your style and I'm gonna, we're gonna walk through that too, okay? So there's a is there a co common color theme that you're seeing? a style that you keep buying, what pieces in the pile are you most drawn to? Like drawn to like you could wear every single day and just get so sad when you put in the dirty laundry. Take note of all that because you're you and we're gonna help you find out what you want to wear, not what an influencer is telling you to wear, not what your stylish friend is wearing and here's some questions for that. So I want you to answer all these and again, this is all in our free wardrobe edit guide. Number one, what is your body style? Every person is different and that's what makes you special. We can buy something off the rack and get home and it just wasn't designed for your beautiful body. And this is so important because it's the body that you're in today. Don't live in the future, don't live in the past, but take care and appreciate your body that you're living in. Because for me with three babies, my body has changed a ton in and out of pregnancy. So my wardrobe is always adjusting to serve me and uh, not me to serve my clothes. So I've learned to be content and to take care of myself instead of treating my body like it doesn't measure up somehow. Nobody has time for that. So all that to say, what is your beautiful body style today? Question number two, what is your lifestyle like? What activities do you need to accommodate? Are you nursing? Are you a mom of toddlers like me? Are you super athletic and wanna be ready for an adventure at any moment? And what is your comfort level in your lifestyle? Like, do you like being more dressed or wearing more casual clothes? And this part is so fun. So question number three, what inspires you? Again, you're you. So take some time for this one. It might be an ongoing process and that's so fine. I love Pinterest for this. And I want you to create a style board. Then type in fashion, casual fashion, mom fashion, elegant, athletic, and just start pinning. Don't think twice, but pin anything that draws you. And I want you to put hundreds of pins in there, like shoot, even thousands. You're subconsciously drawn to style even if you don't know it. 
And so after you've done that, look it all over, like in a week or so, take notes. What are, you, what are some common themes? Are you drawn to whites, linens, cardigans, bold accents, denim jackets, leather, elegant cuts, silhouettes? Um, again, this is an ongoing process and we'll lead into question number four. What is your plan? I was so reactive in the way that I purchased clothes and that's how my closet became a stressor in my life. I was so overwhelmed and I don't want that for you, so let's avoid that. I want you to pick out seven pi pictures from your Pinterest boards and take a close look at those photos. We're going to do some, it's kind of like wardrobe meal planning because fashion is actually like super simpler or similar to meal planning and get out your shopping list and write down the ingredients that you need to complete those looks. Is it two pairs of jeans, one denim jacket, one eyelet top, one pair of black ankle boots, one light green shirt, one gray cardigan, and you get the idea. Like take some time, don't just buy the first gray cardigan that you see. Shop slowly, don't react the way that all the stores are telling you to, and find a store that you love, and intentionally buying the right pieces, you need to complete those looks. And if it helps, you can even print out those pictures and hang them up in your closet. They're your recipes, like meal planning. And the more you do that, the more it'll just become second nature, just like cooking. You won't need to react and you can just read the recipes and eventually they'll just become like effortless style. And getting dressed in the morning, like for me, it can become one of the most calming parts of your day. Friends, thank you, thank you for watching this. It means the world. So you can grab the free wardrobe edit guide in the description below and I'll go over everything that we just talked about because there's so many, so many little things in there. Also, please press that like button and it really helps get this video into more hands. And you can follow us on Instagram at newfloraclothes and check out our website at newflora.com. Again, I'm Jess Maracoya with New Flora and we love helping women build a calming wardrobe that they'll want to hold on to. So I'll see you next time.